Hello everyone and welcome to uh, episode 5 of Cascade uh, my Burlington Northern layout set in the Pacific Northwest in the summer of 1979 uh, it's been over two years since the last update of uh, this layout so I apologize for that um, I have been doing one of two things although not very much compared to the work that I've done on the Montrose and Highland Railroad so this is just really an update of what I have been up to since uh, I last did a, a layout for this uh, sorry a, a video for this layout um, it's a dark tunnel down there uh, I actually finished this off quite a long time ago although if you look at episode 4 of Cascade it isn't showing anywhere near as complete as that um, a lot of this scenery along the back is new as well just pan out there a lot of that has changed uh, this is the uh, Ruffield fruit cannery uh, I'm not sure if that building with the large uh, chimney stack there is going to stay there but uh, all the rest is as it used to be I have widened the entrance to this building here because I was finding that some of the box cars on this type curve were actually catching the doorway as they were going in and that's not good uh, quite a lot more grass just here uh, I haven't ballasted very much of the layout at the moment that all needs doing um, coming back along here we go over the bridge and I've tried to use a woodland scenics foam cutter to make the riverbanks a little less severe um, I'm thinking of abandoning that thing altogether because I've got no idea how to keep the wire attached uh, into the clasps it keeps coming out and getting stuck in the polystyrene so I'm not happy with that uh, if anybody's got any ideas then please drop me a line or leave a message down below the track layout for Ruffield has changed immensely since I was last making a video um, this used to be a caboose's track here I've now decided to park locos on that one um, I was absolutely terrified of locos taking a tumble onto the layout down below so uh, this is all new it's all blocked in now at the end locos can't go anywhere if I lose control of them off the end of the layout Berwick Cement now has a signboard And quite a lot of this scenery at the back is new you won't have seen it but I have been doing this over the course of the last two years the gas station is going to stay there and so is Fred and Red's uh, the road comes from just here goes past the gas station along this uh, cliff face here and then I'm not sure where it's going to go after that at the moment it just disappears to nowhere so we're in the early planning stages there um, I had industries originally going to hidden sidings down there but they were actually proven to be a pain in the neck so what happens is the trains come in switch barrack cement switch rough field and then the trains go back through a different track into the tunnel and Malaga Valley Orchards Fergus Grain and what was the other one Crawford Building Supplies they're actually through that tunnel now I need to finish this off you can see down there it's a bit rough and ready uh, I do like the rapids where they come through there I still like this river scene 
There's the main reason why I built this layout, I think, for this bridge and this river and the waterfall. I've got some photographic uh, backs, backdrops. Um, I'm asking the wife, who's originally from this uh, part of the world, to try and find uh, a backdrop which actually reminds her of home. And then I shall use that photographic backdrop uh, to finish the layout off. And just this afternoon, um, I filled in this great big gap here and underneath this styrene sheet plastic card is a great big hole underneath that switch uh, I can't remember why I made a great big hole just there obviously had some reason at the time but uh, I've got rid of it now I've covered it over the wires are still in there that's one thing about using this foam board which uh, I'm not quite sure about how do people wire them up? My wires go underneath the board, as you would usually find, and attach that the brown and the blue bus wire at the back there. But how do people attach the wires to the track bed if they're using the pink foam as a track bed? Maybe I'm missing something, I don't know. Anyway, uh, just a quick update. Uh, I've decided this year I will be working on Cascade a lot more than I have been doing, as well as the Montrose and Highland Railroad. So um, stay tuned and come back and see how I'm getting on. I hope you've enjoyed the layout today and I hope it's inspired you to do something yourselves. Thanks for watching.